it's time to admit that everything is lost. Experts believe that Terra Luna Classic holders will become poor in a matter of days. Thankfully, not everyone shares that belief, and there might be an opportunity to recover everything and even reach $1 in the coming year. Isn't it strange? Terra Luna might either be a big scam or a huge opportunity. You'll find all the answers in this video. Without further ado, let's get right to the point. Disclaimer. This legal ruling by a U.S. district judge has declared that Luna and UST, which are important assets within the Terra ecosystem, are considered unregistered securities. But what's the deal? What's the difference between securities and crypto? Let me explain. Securities typically represent an investment contract or financial instrument that holds some form of monetary value. They're commonly associated with traditional assets like stocks, bonds, or options. The crucial aspect of securities is that they usually signify ownership or a right to future profits within a company or project. Cryptocurrencies, on the other hand, are digital or virtual currencies that use cryptography for secure and decentralized transactions. They are often decentralized and operate on blockchain technology, aiming to facilitate peer-to-peer -peer transactions without the need for intermediaries like banks. So, this ruling is significant because it's part of a legal dispute involving Terraform Labs and Du Quan against the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. To break it down further, Luna and UST are cryptocurrencies that operate within the Terra ecosystem. However, the judge's decision implies that these tokens were not properly registered as securities, according to U.S. regulations. This ruling could have a significant impact on how these tokens are traded and used within the United States. In May 2022, Terra faced a crash in its token prices following concerns and uncertainties sparked by this legal battle and the ruling. The crash was largely attributed to the uncertainty surrounding the regulatory status of Luna and UST, causing investors to react by selling their holdings, which led to a drop in their values. The Securities and Exchange Commission's case against Terraform Labs and Do Quan is centered on allegations of intentional deception. One significant piece of evidence in the court's decision was a statement made by Do Quan, where he conveyed optimism about Terra's initiatives. The court interpreted this statement as a commitment to potential profits. This statement became pivotal in the court's perception that investors in Luna and UST weren't merely speculating on digital tokens, but were partaking in an enterprise that implied potential financial gain. This interpretation of Duquan's statement reinforced the court's perspective that Terra's marketing and statements went beyond simple token speculation. Instead, they suggested an implied promise of profits or shared success for investors aligning more with the characteristics of a security investment rather than a straightforward digital token speculation. The Securities and Exchange Commission's case against Terraform Labs and Duquan is centered on allegations of intentional deception. One significant piece of evidence in the court's decision was a statement made by Duquan, where he conveyed optimism about Terra's initiatives. The court interpreted this statement as a commitment to potential profits. This statement became pivotal in the court's perception that investors in Luna and UST weren't merely speculating on digital tokens, but were partaking in an enterprise that implied potential financial gain. This interpretation of Do Quan's statement reinforced the court's perspective that Terra's marketing and statements went beyond simple token speculation. Instead, they suggested an implied promise of profits or shared success for investors, aligning more with the characteristics of a security investment rather than a straightforward digital token speculation. Is it time to consider walking away from Terra? Could we label Terra as the biggest scam in the crypto world? Let me clarify further. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission is celebrating a win in its legal battle against Terra, but the fight isn't finished yet. Judge Rakoff, overseeing the case, threw out some charges related to security-based swaps and fraud. He felt these were complex and needed more examination, so a jury will weigh in on these charges in an upcoming trial. The remaining charges create a suspenseful situation. If the fraud charges are proven true, it could lead to significant penalties for Terra. This could affect the project's operations and its associated cryptocurrency Luna in various ways. If Terra faces substantial penalties due to proven fraud, it might impact investor confidence in the project and its native token, Luna. Investors might become wary, 
leading to a decrease in demand for Luna, which could potentially lower its price. Conversely, if the jury rules in favor of Terra, dismissing the fraud claims, it could challenge the Securities and Exchange Commission's stance on the entire case. A favorable ruling for Terra might potentially pump our beloved cryptocurrency to $1 or even more. The situation with Terra shares similarities with the ongoing legal battle between the Securities and Exchange Commission and Ripple regarding the classification of XRP as a security. Even though Judge Rakoff rejected Terra's attempt to use the Ripple ruling as a defense, there are clear similarities between the two cases. This ruling, coupled with the Securities and Exchange Commission's recent categorization of Cardano and Solana as securities, points to a regulatory environment that's becoming more assertive regarding digital assets. The verdict in the Terra case sets a significant precedent for the crypto industry, highlighting the uncertainty around regulations that hover over the sector. By labeling certain cryptocurrencies as securities, the Securities and Exchange Commission is exerting substantial influence. This leaves both creators of new technologies and investors grappling with uncertainty about what's to come. Regulatory decisions in cases like Terra's not only impact the specific projects involved, but also send ripples throughout the broader crypto landscape. The Securities and Exchange Commission's stance on defining certain cryptocurrencies as securities can affect investor perceptions, market dynamics, and the development of new crypto projects. It's indeed a complex situation influenced by regulatory decisions rather than individual judgments. The outcome hinges on how Terra is classified by regulatory bodies like the Securities and Exchange Commission. If Terra is deemed a security, it could result in significant setbacks for the project and its token, Luna, potentially leading to a scenario similar to the previous crash where prices plummeted. The uncertainty around Terra's classification might prompt some to consider selling their tokens, distancing themselves from the potential risks. However, there's another aspect to consider. If Terra is labeled a cryptocurrency rather than a security, it could lead to substantial gains for Terra holders. This recognition might boost confidence and interest in Terra, benefiting its ecosystem and possibly shielding its leadership from legal consequences. The decision lies beyond our control, and it's akin to taking a chance in a game of chance. Financial decisions based on regulatory uncertainty can be risky. It's akin to betting on a color in roulette, a risky move when it comes to finances. But if you were to bet, which way would you lean? What are your predictions? Let me know in the comments section. Would be curious to know your opinion. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content and found it valuable, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe.